wonderful people, my esteemed viewers all over the world. Um, I want to address some issues in response to what my brother Clinton Udo um, said regarding the United States of America support for Biafra, the insinuation that America is supporting Biafra, and um, also that those in America knows much better than those in Nigeria with regarding American politics. That one, I don't argue it. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? This is Biafra 2.0, the Platinum Noir Chineke, Clayton Udo speaking. It's been some time since I spoke online and there's been a lot of speculation, but the speculation is unguided. However, today, I'm going to say a few things because, like I say, I always want people to think. And as a Biafra, I want my people to think. I don't want you to just be sheep following things blindly. And so I'm going to talk about something and it could be table shaking, but I don't care. I know people are going to hate me. People are going to say things like make I die or make something do my children or whatever. But hey, we'll talk what we have to say. We'll say what we have to say. I was out of business for some time. Yeah, I was. I even had COVID-19 and I recovered. But hey, it is what it is. All right, so let's talk real quick. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to talk about two things. Number one, America is not involved in Biafra. They're not. The deceit, or one of the greatest deceits we've had is how America brought us into the story to use us to vote for the Republican Party, but they're not involved in Biafra. One thing about the United States is that it's a superpower. When they're involved in something, you will know. When they were involved with Iran, you will hear the media step in too. They use the media. One of the most, the psychological weapon they use most of the time is the media. You would hear the media talk about it. They would talk about it until there's problems. They talked about Iran, CNN, Fox, everybody at the same time would talk about Iran until Iran tire. The whole news. And when American media starts, the whole media of the world follows. BBC will talk about the same thing. Everybody talks about the same thing. The leaders of media is the United States of America. When America had problems with China, you see the whole world will go after the media, will go after China. When America has problems with Iraq, when America has problems with Syria, when America has problems with any part of the world on behalf of anybody, when America had problems with the Middle East pertaining to the issues of Israel, the Palestinians, the whole world, it becomes a topic. Americans are the biggest table shakers in the world. That is one of their superpowers. When CNN, Fox, ABC News, NBC, all the media outlets talk about something, the whole world follows. Biafra is not on the table and will not be on the table because the mantra for Donald Trump is make America great again. And if you look at the political thing, which of course one of the most unfortunate things we've had is Nigerians sitting in Nigeria to talk about the politics in America as if they know what's going on here more than us who are seeing. The last thing this system is involved in is, is to, 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 to pump their money for a black country. You know what? We've been deceived. The 419 where they do us pass, the 419 where we don't ever do. The whole system was harnessed for votes for the Republican Party. But when it comes to them turning in turn to deliver Biafra, it doesn't take the United States anything to deliver Biafra if they were to deliver Biafra for us. But they're not going to do it. They're not involved in it. Don't ask me my sources. Don't find out. But I can tell you that do I speak? <laughs> I speak to people that you will never dream. I speak to people that are in places that you can never dream of. For me to sleep in the night and think about the fact that I've deceived millions of people, giving them false hope with a story. And I use that trick of telling them that, oh, there's something going on. No, America doesn't go after things secretly like that. Um, what I want to talk about on these issues is that one, except some people, I can agree with you that some Biafrans in Nigeria here, believed that or even across the world believed that trump or united states of american um, government will help disintegrate nigeria and um you know um you know support biafra that is um a joke of the century i always say that that america not even the international community will help you they are only mindful of their own their own economy 
my support for Donald Trump do not translate into any form of expectation from him to support Biafra or to help us get our freedom. Why I support Trump is because he believes in his country, he is patriotic to his country, he is unapologetic about it, and he is not politically correct. Okay? He, when he said that America first, he meant it. And I always say that the problem with Africa is that they think European and the Western country first before their countries. They consider them first before they consider the interests of their people. Why? Because the, the stolen wealth from African country by African leaders with the help of some of these highly placed government officials and institutions abroad help them to hide these looted fronts. And it helps their economy. So when we talk about the freedom of Africa, it starts with when African leaders become patriotic to African nations, just like Donald Trump is to American people. That is the time we begin to experience a reasonable change in our continent. Okay? Then regarding Biafra, I keep saying it without missing word. No country will negotiate with agitators. No country, you can have um, some level of sympathy from some groups of the United Nations like um, ECOSOC, uh, UNPU, and the rest of them. You can be admitted, your, your case can be, you know, be, you know, be parried around to get some kind of sympathy. The most you can get is a, you know, a pat at the back and a promise to, you know, talk to your host countries where you are held bound, you know, to see how they can, you know, help you know, um, take care of some of the challenges you brought up. But when it comes to disintegration of any country, it usually depends on the people who demand that freedom. By first demonstrating that they can control their territory, they must, con they must establish that they are in control of the territory they demand for its freedom or secession, ultimately. Okay? You can't be in change and say you are fighting for freedom. No, it is free people that fight for freedom. You first free yourself, then free others. That is the law of nature. That is how it goes. Then it baffles me when Biafran people all over the world say they are not interested in taking control of the political power in Biafran land. It is a mirage. It is completely out of place. It is self-deceit and self-inflicted injury. And until we come out of that madness, there will be no hope for us. International community, beginning with America, United, um, or, uh, or United Kingdom, and the rest of them, they are only interested in their economic uh, 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 benefits in Nigeria and other countries. And they will only negotiate with those who are in authority. When true hardcore Biafras are in power in Biafran land, and also some of them are the National Assembly, you will start seeing the real agitation, the real hardcore, not those who will tell you when we can see me when they go into power. And you can know them. We have a litmus test for it. And we are going to unleash it at the time when Biafran people are ready for their freedom because for now, they are not ready. Okay? So, my brother, Clint, uh, Clayton, Udo, uh, uh, Udo, I, I, I appreciate your, 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 your concern because it is out of the belly of your concern for our people that you drop that video. Then I must tell you that your insinuation that some of us here cannot understand American politics more than you. I'm not going to argue that. But you must understand that people like us are international or global citizens. Okay? And everything that happens in America, especially hits hard on Africa, particularly Nigeria, their international policy and the rest of them, it affects us. Just like what they played, the role they played in bringing this government of misery upon us. Tomorrow I'm going to publish a video regarding the government, Nigerian people, jettisoned and embrace misery in the name of government. That is what we're witnessing. So my brother, Clinton Udo, I want to appreciate you, but understand that American politics affects us here. And we are concerned regarding those who are in authority in America. Let me tell you, it will affect our business. It will affect um, so many things. Our way of life.
we know that those people piloting the, the democrats especially they are the globalists they are the people we are afraid of because they want to superimpose upon us things that are anti-us things that are not african like forcing gay marriage on our people why will you do that why will you put a gag because we say no to it or any african country that rejects your manipulation you start hitting them hard economically no that is not what we want we are free people we are born free and we must remain free that is our position trump is not apologetic about it trump just like the video i published some of you may not want to watch it but that is the truth hard truth you don't try to superimpose your will on other people just because you want to have your way and that is the democrats they may come softly you may think that they are your friends you may think they are on your side but the truth of the matter is that they are the problem of the global people they are the problem of humanity they are the real conspirators who label others conspiracy theorists they know what they are doing i am not being apologetic about it and that is why i support trump all the way it doesn't matter what you think okay his immigration laws his um um uh, uh in short his immigration laws, that is particularly why many african people and migrants don't like him but he is thinking about his people first let african leaders start doing so and that way we will not bother going to america because god bless us more than them i think with that i'm wrapping it up on this response join me on the live interactive session where you can discuss with me on this matter all right let us have one-on-one -on -one talk and discussion regarding american politics and the biafran freedom and ultimately african people's freedom thank you for watching if you're new on this platform click on the subscription button and the notification bell like share drop your comments here we're forming a very powerful community people that embrace truth people that stand for truth that is the kind of people that appreciate this platform and if you are such you're welcome on board if you're looking for politically correctness or kind of propaganda that will tell you before will come tomorrow or next my brother change the channel because here we see it we say it we tell you the truth the way it is i'm signing out see you on the live program 6 p.m to 7 p.m stay blessed